Hello and welcome to Star Trek is Life. In this video, we'll take a look at the culture of the Borg. This will be part one of a two-part series. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The Borg Collective was made up of at least trillions of humanoids referred to as drones. Through the use of their cybernetic implants, the Borg interacted by sharing one another's thoughts in a hive mind. Upon assimilation, these trillions of voices would overwhelm the drones, stifling individual thought and resistance to the Collective's will. To some drones, these voices could eventually become a source of comfort and their absence a source of pain. Borg philosophy was governed by a primary directive to add the biological and technical distinctiveness of other species to that of the Borg. In this manner, the collective sought to achieve its definition of perfection. All other pursuits were deemed irrelevant. Accordingly, Borg drones did not engage in any activities except their duties and regeneration. Individual drones have demonstrated puzzlement at other species' unwillingness to be assimilated, the drones believing in their superiority of their way of life. Having no regard for individuality, Borg drones were identified with designations rather than names. A drone's designation typically described its position within a group, for example, three of five, or seven of nine. To more specifically identify a drone, its function could be appended to its designation. For example, 7 of 9, tertiary adjunct to Unimatrix 01. In the same manner, the Borg refer to alien species by number rather than by name. If a drone was sufficiently injured or otherwise in distress, other drones would offer assistance. However, if a drone was deemed irreparable by the hive mind, the Borg would deactivate it and redistribute any salvageable components throughout the collective. The Borg did not procreate. They added to the collective's population only by assimilation. Assimilated infants and juveniles would be placed in maturation chambers until adulthood. The Borg typically operated in an atmosphere with a constant temperature of 39.1 Celsius or 102.38 Fahrenheit. 92% relative humidity, an atmospheric pressure of approximately 102 kilopascals, and trace amounts of tetrion particles. These conditions were presumably conducive to the operation of their cybernetics. And that, my Star Trek friends, is part one of our two-part series discussing the culture of the Borg. If you appreciate the information presented in this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. And remember, Star Trek is life.